Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a part two to the introduction uh, that I had started uh, probably two weeks ago, that I released last week anyway. Um, I've been in hospital since then, um, I had to have some surgery done. Uh, long story short, I'm on the mend, but um, it'll take some time. Um, I thought I'd do the 20 questions as just a little bit bit of a way to get to know, know me better. Um, okay, so the first one it says, uh, what does your name mean? And my name means, I'm going to read it off my phone here. Uh, my name means, it's a Latin form of the Greek word Ava. It's spelled A-double-V-A. -A, uh, and it's also the Hebrew name for Hannah, the H. So for Anna, uh, meaning favor or grace or beautiful. And also I learned that uh, my famous person named after my name Anna was Anne Bancroft. Her uh, birth name was Anna Maria Louise Italiano. So just a little bit of trivia, I suppose. <laughs> I like trivia. Uh, where am I from? Okay, so I'm from Australia. Uh, born in Sydney and uh, pretty much lived in New South Wales which is our state uh, capital is Sydney uh, all my life uh, what would your parents have named me if I was a boy um, most likely Frank uh, um, after my um, aunt that sounds weird doesn't it uh, Italians uh, sorry I'm not Italian background so Italians mm. usually uh, traditionally old school Italians parents would name their children after their parents so usually firstborn child goes after the husband's side of the family so mother or father uh, second born child goes after again mother or father if, if there's two boys then it's mother's side father's side anyway <laughs> going down the squirrel trail as some people call it uh, and so my um, Auntie Frances, Francesca, uh, she had passed away before I was born, and so my next in line brother was named after her, so his name's Frank. So, yep, so if I was a boy, I would have been named Frank. What's my biggest accomplishment? I'd have to say I've got a few accomplishments. Um, my three children is obviously top of the list, husband, top of the list. Um, wonderful, adoring family, uh, also top of the list. Um, um, I've had uh, quite a few different uh, careers. Um, started off as a hairdresser when I finished school, high school. I became a fully qualified hairdresser. So I usually say I'm a jack of all trades and master of one. So I have my uh, qualifications in hairdressing. Then I went on to pharmaceutical. Uh, I used to work in a pharmaceutical company, quite a big one, um, AstraZeneca. Uh, then I uh, was tired of sort of the physical work, so I started uh, working in an office and I started out at an um, uh, insurance company. And then that moved on into the financial sector and I've worked for a bank as, all, all, as well as a large supermarket chain. Um, and again, that was all to do with the financial sector. Uh, what is my eye colour? I don't know if you can see, but my eye colour is uh, green on some days, blue-grey on others, but mostly green-grey, let's say. What is my favourite candle scent? Um, I have a few. I generally like soft smells, like a vanilla, uh, but my son, probably two years ago, gave me a candle that smells like a cappuccino, and <laughs> that is so beautiful uh, I only burn that on the odd occasion I just want it to last forever and the smell is it's it's quite nice it's it's a warm sweet cappuccino smell um, can I cook oh yes I can cook I've been cooking since my early teens I always used to help mum uh, cook in the kitchen uh, if it wasn't weeknights it was always every weekend um, and I, I love to cook just love to cook and create uh, I like all cuisines there's not a lot I don't like um, uh, I'll pretty much I don't always follow a, a recipe when I do I still manage to tweak it somehow uh, and also 
if if I don't have anything in mind, I can pretty much just come up with something with whatever I have. I always make do with whatever I have. Uh, what's good in, in my life now? Um, um, pretty much everything. Everyone, everyone's uh, settled, uh, as in my three um, adult children. They're all settled. Um, did I mention I've got nine grandchildren? Uh, so ranging from ages from one year old being the youngest and 15 year old being the eldest. Um, I'm a Piscean. The next question is what's your star sign? Uh, so I'm a Piscean. Um, I just not really recently just celebrated my birthday on the 5th, 5th of March. Uh, what scares me about aging? Uh, I think the potential of being immobilized um, I have a lot of arthritis and other issues um, just being not, not being able to care for myself having to be reliant on others that's that's pretty scary I think that's the most scary thing about aging what's my favorite holiday mmm the beach <laughs> just take me to the beach I'm happy we actually live across the road from the beach so in a sense every day I'm on holidays what's my guilty pleasure um, chips crisps potato chips uh, any flavor preferably plain but any flavor chips twisties in Australia we have a chip called twisties I don't have any right now but when I do I'll show you what they look like they're very tasty they come in two flavors there's a cheese flavor and there's a chicken flavor uh, what's your favorite show to binge watch um, I like all different types of shows um, one of my all-time favorites was Stranger Things um, I'm a horror movie fanatic my husband is too so that's really good um, yeah so uh, what's one thing you can't leave the house without Mm, comfortable shoes uh, and my handbag <laughs> that's pretty easy that one are you a morning person or a night person well I've always been a night owl um, I don't know how I made it through the years where I had to work early in the morning <laughs> I did it but you know definitely a night owl um, I'll stay up late I'm not, yeah, I'm not really a morning person, but I'm not a grumpy person in the morning when I do wake up. <laughs> uh, favorite genre of movie? Like I said, um, I love horror movies. I like comedies, some romance, uh, action movies, thriller, uh, suspense, that kind of thing. But mostly, top of the list would be have to be horror movies. The last thing I bought. Well, I'll have to share that in another video because it just arrived today. So I will definitely show you what that was. It's definitely something squishy and just totally fantastic. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Um, that's a bit hard to say. Uh, people say that I'm an extrovert only because I, you know, like to chat and get along with people and I'm the type of person that yeah starts a conversation you know while you're waiting in the queue at the supermarket um, but I do prefer I'm a homebody uh, I like to socialize in, in a different way not not too much in a big crowd small crowds and what's my favorite book well currently what I'm reading is the Matthew Riley um, book sets uh, I, I think he's a wonderful writer. He's an Australian writer. Uh, absolutely adore uh, him. Um, I also like Virginia Andrews. I've read a lot of her books. Um, some old um, stories that were the Flowers in the Attic series. I love those books. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the content uh, of my videos, like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can see when I come on next. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.